This will be a short IX Network video on how to configure OSPF and the NextGen framework. We'll start by adding some ports to our configuration. And on card one, first thing we'll note is that if I wanted to use port three, which is green link up and it has the X, this indicates that the port is already in use or owned by another user. If you're sure this it's okay to use this port, you can right click and clear the ownership. But again, if you do this and they're running protocols or traffic, it is going to stop the user's test. So please be sure. In this example, we're gonna add port six and we'll click okay. And again, if you were to add that port with the uh, green X, it would show up here um, and you would have the option to clear the ownership later. Uh, and it would say in use by, and it would give the user machine and user login information. We're now gonna click on scenario. And in the next gen framework, if you click add new topology, we'll come to the bottom here and you could add your port from here as well, but we will add it from here since it's already existing in the current configuration. We'll append the port and click next. And if we scroll down a little bit to the bottom, we want to select OSPF version two. I'll hit finish. And it's gonna go ahead and create a vice group for us. In this example, it's pre-configuring or trying to set up uh, 10 devices or 10 OSPF routers. So for now, we'll just change the multiplier to one. So I have one ethernet stack, one IPv4 stack, and the OSPF configuration stack. Um, probably no need to change the Mac. Um, for your IP address configuration information, you'll wanna set this as needed uh, that you want the IP address that you want the uh, XC router to use. And this is gonna be your uh, gateway for that interface. And also here you can set your subnet mask. If you go on up the stack and you click on the OSPF configuration, um, you have the various tabs at the bottom, but the most important options under basic, if we move this over a little bit, um, and here under the OSPF V2 interface tab, you'll want to make sure you configure your network type correctly. On um, this example, we'll do point to point. Okay. And finally, what we wanna do is select the device group. Now what we're gonna do is add some routes that we're gonna advertise from this OSPF router. When you select that, you notice this little pop-up box appears, and we're gonna click here, add network group. You can also do this above in the GUI ribbon. You'll see new network group. Okay, so I'll click this. And I want to add an IPv4 pool to advertise. It's going to create this behind. And now if you select the network group and you go to the OSPF route range, here you can now configure the range and the IP addresses of the routes that you want to advertise. There's two options here, depending on how you want to set it up. You can create multiple ranges by here, changing this to three or more. Um, this is a little less efficient. It's not necessarily needed. You can use the incrementer here. Um, you may also um, do it this way. Set this to one. And I can say, okay, in this one route range, create 30,000 routes for me. Okay and we see that it's incrementing by here at the 24 bit offset so it's incrementing here but i don't want to increment on a slash 24 let's just say i want to create routes have it increment every slash 30. okay so now i have 30,000 routes being advertised from this route range uh, each one is a slash 30. and this is the basic configuration for OSPF V2, advertising routes behind that OSPF router using IX network, um, using the OSPF next gen uh, interface. Thanks for watching.